want to show you how to compute cash flow after tax. Let's start with a few definitions first. Cash flow after tax is the cash flow produced by the property less any tax liability. Tax liability is the income taxes you owe or save based upon the amount of taxable income and your marginal tax rate. Marginal tax rate is your combined state and federal income tax burden. Okay, let's take a look at this example and we'll run it to give you an idea of how it works. You just purchased a small apartment building for $500,000 of which 80% is attributable to improvements. By the way, this is for the depreciation allowance because you can't depreciate land. You can only depreciate the improvements. You finance the property with a 30-year $300,000 mortgage at 5% annual interest and 2% loan points. Your marginal tax rate is 28% and you want to know your cash flow after tax for year 5 and project a net operating income of $32,832 for that year. Okay, let's run it. It's a residential property because it's an apartment building. Purchase price is $500,000. Depreciable basis is 80%. The loan amount is $300,000. The rate is 5%. Term is 30 years. Loan points are 2. Your marginal tax rate is 28%. You're evaluating for year 5 and you're projecting the net operating income to be $32,832. So we have the result. Your cash flow after tax will be $12,340 for this year. Let me show you how we got there. We took the net operating income of $32,832 and we deducted the interest expense of uh, $13,922 and then the amortized points of $200 and the depreciation allowance for that year of $14,545. That gave us a taxable income of $4,165. We take that times the your marginal tax rate of 28%, so we have taxes payable in the amount of $1,166. Okay, now we have to compute the cash flow before tax. We do that by taking the net operating income and deducting the debt service which is the annual loan payment of nineteen thousand three hundred and twenty six dollars that gives us a cash flow before tax in the amount of thirteen thousand five hundred and six dollars so then we deduct the tax liability one thousand one hundred and sixty six dollars and that gives us our cash flow after tax of twelve thousand three hundred and forty dollars Here's the formula. Okay, now let's go up here and reduce the net operating income to $20,000 because I want to show you what happens when you have a tax write-off or tax savings. Same procedure, take the net operating income, less interest expense, less amortized points, less depreciation allowance. We have a tax taxable loss now of $8,667. So we take that times your marginal tax rate, and so we have a tax savings 
of $2,427. That's what we can write off. Again, we calculate the cash flow before tax, which in this case is $674, and we add our tax savings of $2,427. So the result is $3,101 is the cash flow after tax. Again, here's the formula. And that's how you compute cash flow after tax.